There is a very important step in assembling the engine and I was shocked to know that a lot of people don't even do anything, they just receive the product and just put it inside the engine, which is capping the rings. So you buy a set of piston rings and you need to set these spaces properly. So you get a, a manual let's call it manual instructions like this and you pick your choice so for example uh, there's the application so high performance street uh, the one I marking here was the street moderate turbo and nitrous and there is the late model which is the one that has the star in it so um, there is for example a measurement minimum gap per bore so per inch of your or bore of your cylinder so let's say that my cylinder measures three inches uh, four seven five point four seven five so I if I choose the zero point zero zero fifty I don't know how to say that my tongue is like I swallow everything zero point zero fifty thousands thousands th 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 something like that uh, of an inch right which is less than a, a paper so if you get a piece of paper which is just this little part here is much less than that so uh, we just multiply let me show you my paper here so basically what we do is we get this measurement here so let's say I choose the 0 0.0050 right for the first ring and the second ring 0053 so we get the size of your cylinder of your uh, cylinder wall right the whole the engine hole and then you I got four of them they are basically all 3.45 but they um, have just a little difference in here which is fine and you multiply that by the number you want and then you read something so in my case I read 17 0 0.01728 right and so I would round this to 0 0.018 so I would get my ring let's say that this is my ring here right this is the gap so I put this in the cylinder wall and this gap here needs to be 0 0.018 if this is the first ring if it's the second ring my measurement would be 0 0.020 because I got 0 0.057 instead of 53 right I also read and talked to some uh, good engine guys and they said the second ring can usually is 1.25 times the gap of the first ring so or even the same right some people put just the same uh, value problem we had a problem so the rings my first ring it was fine so I got everything all right I would just gap them as 18 my second ring when I start measuring I got all of them I start measuring all of them on my board and getting all of them means I got this box here open the rings those are the second rings here and I start putting inside the cylinder wall the cylinder we're gonna do that in a minute and this gap here uh, of the worst the worst I had was 0 0.023 but if I choose 0 020 that was this here 23 was worse because it's much more than the last one and um, so then I call these people here the uh, G GE pistons um, and the guy said no it's all right it's it's good you can use that and this is the minimum gap and but then I was lost then I called my guy uh, which was uh, Gibson performance very nice guy um, Andrew he helped me he actually uh, cleaned my engine blast my uh, engine head he also cleaned some other parts and stuff I like it very much I'm gonna take more stuff to him in the future so he told me that and he does lots of um, racing engines and he told me that 23 was great 
and I also should keep the first one as 23. But I think if I keep the first one as 23, um, I'll have a lot of blow by. And 23 means that is 0 0.0066. So if you get here, the minimum that the one I was choosing was 50. Let's count as 55. So 66 is like 11 more. But he said I was great because I want to put turbo and I want to use a lot of pressure. Um, so it's it's better if it's larger than if it's shorter because uh, shorter, you know, if it touches, hmm, no good for your engine. If it if you have have a little bit of blow by, you know, worst case, open your engine and change your rings. But you know, uh, it's better to have that and get the engine hot, and this will get tighter anyway. And also the engine, the cylinder wall is like a, a V, right? Because it, it um, the top of it should have, I, I read something the other day, I didn't measure to guarantee that that's true, but uh, the top should have more space than the bottom. So as your piston goes down, it shrinks a little bit. So you measure 23 on top, when you go down, it should be 21 and a half, right? So you need to be sure that you have that space. So let's go ahead, let's stop talking. Um, I just want to say how important this is and what happened to me because um, I wasn't expecting. I, to me, honestly, I was expecting to read this little thing here. Never done that before. Read this, oh, 50 and 55, great. Calculate that crap and put the gap on the ring, put in a piston, shove in the engine and good to go. Nope, mm -mm. not like that. So that's the minimum. Uh, you need to understand that this is important, you need to do it, and that's not the Bible. You don't need to do exactly what is in there, because that's the minimum. Let's do it. Okay, so have handy um, your measurements. My measurements are old because um, I have 19 on the first ring and I have 20 on the second one. I'm going to remeasure the three of them and be sure that the, uh, the largest gap I have there is 23. If it is 23, I'm going to follow all of them as 23 and then I'm going to think about what I'm going to do on the first ring to the end of this video. So let's do it. Have some assembly lube if you don't have it, don't even get started because you need this to put on your cylinder wall. That way you don't scratch your your new ring and you don't scratch your cylinder wall. Okay so I hope you can see. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm cleaning this a little bit uh, people use transmission fluid. I'm just cleaning um, because I've tried before and uh, that's when I got the surprise that this was a different size but I just want to be sure that there is no imperfections or anything here. I didn't file this at all. Uh, one thing you need to be aware of each ring has uh, one side has something uh, written in there so you see here and 100 um, and some of them will have a mark or something and the other side it has nothing right so the written part is to the top and I know that because um, each ring might be different but this is uh, I think is basically a rule uh, how it works but you know it could be different so read that little manual uh, and that thing is going to tell you 
uh, what to do. So I'm going to put here some assembly lube. Um, it doesn't need to be on the whole cylinder wall because I'm just going down a little bit. Um, two things I forgot to mention. There you go. Now I have enough. All right. Um, you need a tool to uh, file the rings, and you need um, there is a, a piston installer thingy. You're gonna see in a little bit. So it is there. Now I'm gonna get that ring. Remember the inscription, the the letters up. And the way you do it, you squeeze just a little bit. I'm gonna put this way so you can see me measuring the ring. So I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit, and then I'm gonna flip it, and that's it. It's inside, <laughs> it's slippery. So then flip it. So the thing now is um, I need to get my tool to push this down. So the way I did it, um, is this here you clean my hands all right so the way I did it was like this um, I have this piston installer I'm gonna put the link uh, below on the description of the video and I put my piston inside it so I just need to be sure that my piston is aligned is correct right so if I go down here uh, it'll be aligned it will be straight and you see my ring here the gap is right in here so what I do is I push it down right so this way I know that is going the same distance all over and now I have the little gap in here and you need one of those here which are um, you have those little plates and each plate has a number I don't know if you can tell so you have zero, zero, fifteen thousandths of an inch, and then you keep going, right? I know that that thing is probably at 23, so I'm going to start on 21, okay? So you get here, zero, 21. So let's do it. I'm going to put on the, on the wall of the cylinder and then push in the hole you see that goes straight there let me see if I can zoom in show you a little better can you see the gap right here okay that's a little better see the little gap down there so we need to measure that thing so you put this right here touch the cylinder well and go like a, a butter knife um, and then when you touch it if it's going all the way to the wall means that this is 21 so I'm going to increase one I'm going to 22 22 so 22 put in the cylinder wall it's tight but it goes all the way through I don't know if you can tell look okay and I'm going 23 23 23 kinda goes in there but not all the way I think I can push a little hard it goes in there um, so let's call it 23 okay uh, the only, one thing I was going to say you can measure the, all, all the rings in one uh, in one cylinder in the engine because um, if you're measuring this here and it's 23 it might be a little smaller in here so what I'm going to do since this one is larger I'm gonna try that in here and see what happens so let me put my gauge in here 23 was that one I'm gonna get some assembly lube put in here there you go put in the wall to go uh, and I'm going to do that in all of them I want to see if there is one of them that that ring becomes 22 instead of 23 because I rather measure uh, 20 get, have a 22 gap instead of 23 if I can 
right? So let me put my cylinder up there somewhere. There you go. A little light. All right. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just uh, doing this boring part. So I'm putting a assembly lube in here in all of them. It's a very thick oil and this is going to stay in place till you run the engine first time to guarantee that you don't break anything. So let's take this, uh, the other important part is taking this out of here, right? So what we do now is we pull one side slowly and then go to the same position, squeeze just a little bit and take it out right this way you don't damage your ring nor the cylinder wall so put in there like that get our cylinder cup thingy uh, I think I, it's too low I need a little higher we need to be sure that you are actually pushing this down and it is straight so touching now there you go and now we have the gap right here so let's see I have 23 in hand yep 23 goes by is very tight so this is 23 too I'm gonna try 24 just out of curiosity uh, 23 24 24 right here no nah, not at all so all right it's not 24 and it's also 23 which is a good sign means that those cylinders have the same size so let's go to the third one let me move oh yeah you can see still all right and push a little bit clean my hands here so I don't get I don't drop this all right just be sure that it's straight let's do a visual check it looks good and 23 oh 23 is tight but it went all the way all right so let's do one more and the last one okay going in there all right and let me see oh 23 does not get there so let me see 22 I'm getting 22, 23 did not work. So if 22 works, I'm gonna keep this one in here. Yep, so I'm gonna keep this one here. Yeah, 23 does not get in there. It is a straight. I'm gonna align again just to be sure because I don't want to have different gaps. All right. Twenty three. Oh, it went there. Damn it. Twenty three. Okay, just for the sake of twenty three times. Yeah, if if this is twenty three, I'm gonna yeah. If I push a little harder, twenty three gets in there, but it got in there, so it is twenty three. So the bottom ones will be twenty three. That's our measurement for the 
uh, bottom rings. So I'm gonna uh, put a, a paper and I'm gonna write number uh, one, two, three, and four, starting one on the on the uh, where the pulleys go and the crankshaft is on this side here. So this is one which will have uh, maybe this ring here, right? And then I'm gonna make this one, this one, and this one, and then I'm going to do ring number one. All right, so if that one was on uh, the first cylinder, I'm going to look at the number. Um, I'm going to clean this just a little bit, just to be sure that when I put back in the bag, it does it didn't have anything there sure that don't scrape the paper here because this what I'm using is a paper I don't want to have any of this paper in there although I'm pretty sure this the engine will burn the crap out of it so uh, because I just cleaned this I'm just gonna put a little bit of assembly lube all over here so now I know that's clean and let's do the same thing. I'm gonna do this here. That in my hands is so much oil. I'm worried I'm gonna drop something. There we go. Slowly got in there. So I know that this is square. And let's measure. It's not 23 not it's cut it's 22 not 23 so I need to oh, gap just actually it is 23 so what I'm going to do we got that first ring we had that conversation before put in there I'm gonna check uh, if the gaps are similar uh, okay it is very tight 23 this is less tight 23 so I think I need to go it's like a half turn on that one and let me put this one here Let's move the camera. Numbers right there. Turn around. The dog barking. And push. It's a square. Get the tool and measure. Same thing. So apparently, I don't need to gap any of them. Uh, it looks like they're very, very similar. And again, last one. So let's put this here. and okay so this goes in there it's like easy this goes in there a little tighter this goes in there easy and this goes in there easy I guess they are they are all the same besides this one all the other ones yeah let me do it again this guy pull it up tiny bit I just want to be sure that this is a square and I'm not mismeasuring yeah let me do the same here put in there okay 
this one needs maybe a couple turns so let's do it so we're gonna do a couple turns on this let's do one by one so we don't get lost okay so now we are going to use the uh, piston ring filer uh, so I never read the manual but this is too complicated so I end up reading the manual of everything so basically this the only thing this is saying is put the ring all the way in here so both sides uh, touch this screws in here so you have that now you put one side in here let me try to zoom in so you can see it can be this side it doesn't matter right I'm gonna do like this so you can see and you move this towards the inside not outside so let's do it I just need a little bit so I'm gonna touch both sides are here um, I'm not touching the ring yet so I'm gonna touch the ring and apply light pressure and you're gonna hear the noise okay I have from my Dremel kit um, a little stone like this let me take the zoom out so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna file this so I don't have sharp anything anywhere I can see here right so I don't want to scratch anything just uh, use your Thumb, put in there. You don't want to scratch the cylinder wall. All right. And if you do like this a little bit, you see how straight your cut is. Um, so you don't you don't want to have a V shape. So now let's put back in the cylinder. Be a hundred percent sure that you don't have any sharp corners here. Okay. Let's put some assembly lube on the corner and put the ring there push inside get your square tool square in there and put it there yep it looks good looks great okay it's a little tighter than um, the other one I guess uh, we should do a couple more turns let's do it again okay I just did three more uh, three more turns there and I was sure this time that I applied a little bit of pressure and square it right there Boom. let's see get your tool put in there oops I moved the ring it looks great I can still fill it. This one, yeah, they all go like, they are tight, both. All right, so let's go to the next one, which is that one. So first one down, second down, third one, let's just move up a little bit. I wanna be sure this is a square. Alright, yep, like the other one's tight. And the last one, yep, they're all good. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them from here and put them in there. Check that out. 
So this is the first one. So the first goes here uh, from where we took it. And then I'll keep putting on the side. So let's do it. Two, three, and four. So for the first rings, the first rings are lighter, uh, is the same thing. So you can see here, I have, uh, there is something written in there, N100, right? And we are going to measure them. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get all the four, put in my engine, and be sure that I don't have a, a crazy gap. So let's put first one. They are tighter, so I'm gonna put some oil on them, just like this. I just don't want them to be too dry on my wall. Yeah, you can hear the noise. So let's square the ring there. Sometimes you gotta square two, three times to be sure. So it's definitely not 23. I need to change my measurement here to probably 16. Let's just start on 16. Probably I'm going all the all the way to 21. Uh, and 19 was the gap I calculated, which is a little more than what I have here. So 16 is not even 16. So let's see, 15. Nope. Wow. 12. Yep. 12 goes in there. 13, it does not. So if you can see here, um, when, what, when we were talking about uh, small gap and large gap and problems, right? Let me see if I can uh, grab the camera. Can you see how tight that is there? Right here. So this tight means that when I, if I live like this, when I start using turbo, this is going to get hot and this is going to expand and one side is going to touch the other side. If that happens, it's going to start scratching here and maybe it's going to expand even more and stop it and scratch everything until it breaks. So that's why they say it's better to have more gap than less. But, you know, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. See, if I wasn't willing to have the gap they were telling me that I should, then I would maybe return and buy from some other company but you know I'm pretty sure um, this is safe. If I talk to two people uh, of course one is those guys and of course being from Brazil I didn't quite believe them because I thought they, they didn't want to uh, exchange and get it back so I called uh, Gibson but let's uh Let's get the first one. So the first one has 16. Let's put the other ones in and see how they look. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's put the ring there. It's, noise is terrible, so I don't like to go with slow because you don't want your thing to jump and go further in one side looks great so the other one was 16 so let's just start from the six with the 16 put in there nope so they were 15 <laughs> none of them are 16 um, let me get 15 just uh, for fun so from 15 to 21, this one doesn't even fit 15. 
That's what I was expecting from the rings, not 23. So 14. 14 is a little tight. 14 is a little tight. Thirteen. Yeah, so apparently there is no gap in there. <laughs> I mean there is some gap, but let's try ten. Oh, ten works like a charm. Eleven. Try to this has oil in it. Eleven works. Eleven works. 12, 12 works, 12 works, I think I moved this guy here, Twelve. yep, nope, so it doesn't even go to the end, so I guess all of them will be basically the same. Let me, uh, let's put one more. Okay, so I measure all of them. They're all um, 12. Uh, so I just took out of here, this guy. And from 12, we need to reach 20. So we need to take uh, 0 0.008 thousandths of an inch. Let's do it. Okay, so let's start again. Get this here. I'm gonna touch this side here and push all of them equal force into the little screw. And be sure, I'm gonna put my hand here, that this is flat in the in here. So if you look into the ring right here, it is flat, right? So it's not like this. Can you see the difference? For example, you can see a little space. So if you grind like this, it's going it's going not gonna be good. So you need to be sure this is touching here, this is touching here, and apply some pressure here, and be sure this is straight. So let's do it. Counterclockwise. It's not going there. One, two. Three, four, five, six. I lost count. I guess I did eight. So I'm going to stop. I'm going there because I have no idea how many turns I need to do. So once I figure that out, so see, you have sharp things here. Um, so this is just taking that extra okay so let me put some oil right where the cut happened I think I did around eight turns uh, the ladder don't forget to look at the ladder here in 100 bring it in there boom now let's square. It's just like an average of how many turns we need to do. I mean, worst case, we gotta buy more. So that was 12. It didn't do much. I tried 15, so let me try 13. 13. Nope, I think I need to do much more than that. Um, all right. Let me get the 12 again. I want to see how easy the 12 gets in there now. Oh, yeah. The 12 gets there easier, but it's not enough. The 13 has no business on that hole. Bang. Nope, let's do much more. All right, ring facing up. 
put in here I'm gonna do uh, push there it is straight Fifteen I did. Fifteen turns. So thirteen works and I did fifteen turns. Each each ring has a different material, so it doesn't work if you count the turns and then you use a different ring to do the same same math. It just doesn't it won't work that way. Uh I'm gonna push this here and that. down shove it in okay so 19 is still not going all the way to the end um, we still need to do a little more so let's do it let's try it again so I'm aiming for 20 because if I reach 21 I'm still good but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep twenty if all of them work fine. There you go. You can see here the gap. Let me see if I can do like this so you can actually see it get in there. Okay. Still not getting all the way to the end. This is 19. So we need a few more turns. Alright, so let's try the last one. Last one. I hope so. So this guy, I'm going to try... 20 so 20 sunny 20 is right here oh yeah it goes all the way to the end and stays there so I can call it good and if I try 21 just to be funny which it won't be funny if it gets in there it gets halfway in there which means that my gap is not straight so I need to pay attention on the next one so the next one will be I need to do 20 and 21 gotta get close to get in the engine so alright so this is great this is the number four so let's put back in there let's just start working on the number three so it's got the ring out of here and let's cut it alright so again you know the drill be sure that this is touching both are touching here and this is parallel and we know I'm gonna do 30 
guy. And let's try. 19. Hang on. Something on the square two they don't quite work. Alright. So 19. It's there. 20. there and it's like that so now if we try 21 it doesn't quite go in all right so ring number two or maybe number three right four and three now we're going to do two and one all right let's get the ring number two all right, so we are going to push this way so it touches here and I'm going to use this finger to push this way a little bit and let's do it. One, two, all right, so let's get the last ring. And what happened was um, my camera died, so I just got two more. Um, this thing here, it got to go one inch deep, right? So if you put right on the top, this is a little bit wider than the rest of the cylinder normally. And so if you push a little lower and you gap like 20, it's a different gap than if you gap 20 here. So if you gap 20 here, when you get down there, it's 19 then goes to 18 right so um, and this was inside so what I'm doing now uh, I'm just I'm showing the uh, oil area and I'm pushing everything down to that um, area and then I'm gonna measure again right uh, there you go so everything is down to the area I'm getting 21 I hope you can see and 21 here it goes very very tight uh, it barely goes to the end of it same here and I'm on the last one same here so in this one that we are uh, doing right now that was our 12 so this is 13 it doesn't doesn't fit there so let's do it let's take that out of here This gives us a good shot because not sure if this camera is good so put the ring here again hold it your whole hand and squeeze this side a little bit so it touches the ring otherwise you're gonna keep doing that forever like I was right and be sure that you're squeezing enough to touch the uh, these screws but not too much here use this just a tiny bit and always to the inside clean a little bit just so we don't have metal some oil on the very end and push slide down a little bit and then push like this now use that and let's see if we can fit the 13 now yep 13 works let's try 14 nope 14 does not work let's go back
14. All right. So this is the last one and I save you from keep watching but 21 very tight we see here 21 very tight we see here 21 extra tight and see if I can show you this one 21 very tight so 21 very tight all over those are the first rings, so I'm gonna take them and put in a bench and call it good. One thing I would suggest you do after, just to be sure that nothing uh, bad fall in there, just uh, some WD-40 and a towel that's not gonna let particles go and clean inside the engine um, just to be sure there is no little piece of metal and you do that in all four of them Rings are gapped and lessons learned. When you start gapping the rings, when you get the rings, put all of them in the cylinder um, block, right? On the uh, cylinder hole and use something. So in my case, I use this here with this guy here, right? Which is the uh, what is the name of this? The proper name is a piston ring compressor, right? It's a OEM piston ring compressor. It's pretty cheap. I thought it was very easy to use. There's cheaper. There are cheaper ones, but I think this one is very good. Uh, so you put the ring, the piston there, tie this, which is going to compress the uh, rings, and then you put in your cylinder and just knock, 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 knock. It goes down. So. I use that. Some people use this here. Put one of the rings, probably the second one, and then put in put inside block so it goes this much, right? Um, and what I like to do is put all the way to here and then measure the gap there. Uh, this is what one inch probably. Um, so that's what I did, right? So uh, be sure that when you're pushing down, you're pushing down the same height. For all the four um, uh, rings, right? All for the four um, piston holes. <laughs> that thing is called. And um, when you do that, slowly. Don't count as I counted, because my my rings, the material, of my rings are here. So f uh, the first one was carbon steel nitrate. And yours might be something else, which is softer or is harder. So 10 turns on mine might be three on yours or might be 20 on yours. So you gotta figure it out yourself if you're gonna do that. And, but anyway, slowly do it. Uh, pay attention, take your time. Do two, three turns at a time, whatever you gotta do, and good to go. The rings are here, gapped. So those are the first ones, those are the second ones. This is uh, first, second, third, and fourth cylinder. And <laughs> it's not piston, it's a cylinder. And uh, so that's the first, second, third, and fourth. That's how I count it. And the same thing here, first, second, third, and fourth. Right? Um, so done. 
if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel um, and also check my website www.carmodsgarage.com um, I have videos in there and also post stuff and pictures and a bunch of stuff next videos I'm going to start uh, assembling the uh, pistons and the connecting rods and right after I'm going to install the rings in there so probably will be two videos this weekend I'm going to drift for the first time with my drift car which is outside it's a BMW I don't know if you saw it um, I have parts there you can see the uh, headliner about that crap but it doesn't fit because it's a different model um, uh, so yeah that's it check it out later